People who moved out of the parents' house before 30, how? Just needed a little R&R. Roommates and ramen. Edit. Oh wow thank you so much for the awards. I'm gonna throw a little hot sauce on them and add an egg to give him the old razzle dazzle. I'll be eating good tonight. Got kicked out at 14. Finished high school sleeping on friends' couches while serving tables. Had a ton of roommates for the next 10 years. At any given time I was living with like 3 or 4 people. It was never boring haha. -ha. Started working while I was in school. Got out as soon as I could. Roommates. I moved out at 19. My mom and stepdad moved to the other end of the town because rent was a lot cheaper. But I didn't want to live there so I looked for a small cheap flat L. Found one. Had a job. Some savings. Somehow it worked out. Eventually found some used furniture and a new bed. Life was much cheaper like 15 years ago. I moved out at 18 got a job as a waiter working 50 to 60 hours rented the smallest room in a shit area of the city I lived in. It is what it is. Which comedian is super famous but not funny at all? Carlos, Ned, Mencia. Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub. The guy is only famous for being Joe Rogan's friend. His stand-up feels like a forced open mic during your high school talent show. David Hughes. Big in Australia and one big dickhead. Not funny at all and he has a voice you want to punch. Face 2. Andy Dick. Carlos Mencia. He is just not funny at all to me. What is something that most people won't believe, but is actually true? Orcas eat moose. Komodo dragons usually reproduce sexually. But females in captivity have been known to reproduce by parthenogenesis. Without the need for sperm. Humans can smell some components of the smell of rain. The geosmin part of petrichor. Specifically. Far better than sharks can small blood in water. We are very very sensitive to it. HTTPS www.acsh.org slash news slash 2018 slash 07 slash 28 slash geosman dash y dash we dash smell dash air dash after dash storm dash 13240 Almonds are from the peach family. Some tortoises can breath through their butthole. The shortest commercial flight in the world lasted 57 seconds. It was a Logan Air flight between two Scottish islands. Westray and Papa Westray. It was recorded the shortest commercial flight. With the distance of 1.7 miles. What's the stupidest thing that has a large fan base? Scientology. I find it a bit weird that politicians seem to have fans rather than supporters. Nakakado Avocado. Island Boys. The Kardashians. Influencers. Who is a famous person that's very talented, but is also a piece of shit? Caravaggio. Amazing painter, but an actual murderer. Salvador Dali was insanely talented. But he was a sociopath. He allegedly pushed his friend over a bridge for funsies. He was accused of being obsessed with Hitler and Francisco Franco. Allegedly into necrophilia. He's been described as a narcissist. And accused of committing animal cruelty. McMurray is a piece of shit. R. Kelly. My god did he have some tunes. And he was very good towing that line into self-parody. Real piece of shit though. Chris Brown. Motherfucker can sing and dance his heart out. But. Well. You already know how much of a scumbag he is. Ian Watkins and his terrible behavior made me delete all of my Lost Prophets music. What's one type you'll never date again? The type with a partner they didn't tell me about thinking face. The type that makes you feel really bad about yourself. I also will not date girls who try to make me jealous. Any man who has a mom that is too involved. 
always on the phone type. A narcissist. What is sexist towards men that society just accepts? When you're a dad, and everyone assumes you don't know what you're doing. Especially if mom isn't with you. No baby changing tables in men's bathrooms. Sexual harassment in the workplace. As a 6 feet 1 inch lumberjack looking dude. Try talking to HR about how a few women are constantly making sexual jokes towards you. Making obscene drawings on your whiteboard in your office. Purposefully brushing against you. Etc. See how fast you get laughed out of the office. Edit. This was from a while back. TV dads. In every sitcom the dad has to be a clueless bumbling man-child. Good role model dads on TV are few and far between. Teaching. Female teachers often do quite a bit. And it's seen as okay. Even correct to do. Even if against policy. That men are often very concerned and worried about doing. For example. Giving a kid a pat on the back or a brief hug if a kid is upset. Or having one-to-one -one private conversations. There seems to be a larger general sense of mistrust and a different positioning for male teachers. As a dad, I can't talk to another kid at a park that's playing with my son without being labeled as a creeper. Or pedophile. And I'm just as guilty of this because of how society perceives men. Even I'm suspicious of other men interacting with my three-year-old son when I know how it feels. It's just so normalized that I can't even break from my own frustration. How will the Ukrainian war end? Hopefully not with a loud bang and blinding light. I appreciate the joke answers because the last people I want to seriously advise me on war is Reddit. Like any other war. Not soon enough and with too many dead. Putin and Zelensky 1v1. I think Putin will die of a heart attack or similar and the Russians will withdraw immediately. It won't properly end. Russia will hold and annex a small bit of territory which will never be officially conceded by Ukraine. And the fighting will slow to a more irregular pace as it had been for the past decade. What food do people pretend to love? People are just answering with their least favorite, exotic, foods. Food that people pretend to love is probably a dish prepared by a well-meaning loved one with zero cooking skills. Quote. M. Honey this is. Something. You really have outdone yourself this time. Quote. Also. Thank you for the award. I don't know what it means but I will cherish it for the rest of my afternoon. The meals I prepare for them. What their kid made, if the food's not that great. Gold flakes. No goddamn use except making your turds shiny. Glitter pills do the exact same thing. When I was a kid I pretended to like this really spicy jelly. I hated it, but adults would act really impressed if I ate it in front of them or said I liked it. Do people simply pretend to love certain foods or do people just have different tastes and might enjoy things you do not? Subscribe, my brothers.